NBC6 News at 6. We think of our daughter every day. We're at the cemetery every day, at least once a day. Only on six tonight, the parents of a woman who died while on spring break in Miami Beach are speaking out about what happened and sending a message to the community, hoping something like this never happens again. Let's get to NBC6 reporter Marissa Bag live in Miami Beach with more on what this family had to say. Marissa, the first time that they visited the place where she tragically died. That is true, Roxy, and they knew coming out here would be awful for them, and it was, but they wanted to face that fear and come and see the hotel for themselves. So we met them here, and they opened up about the horror that they've been living for the last two years. Holding onto a blanket covered with photos of their daughter, Doreen and Tom Engelhart stood outside the Miami Beach Hotel where she died. It's the first time they've been here. Ever. I can't believe this is where my daughter lost her life. We were so close. Everybody said we were attached at the hip. I mean, that's how close we were. I mean, she wasn't my only child, and I mean, we did everything together. Everything. 24-year-old Christine Engelhart died of a drug overdose in March of 2021 inside of a room at the Albion Hotel. It was spring break, and thousands descended on Miami Beach to let loose one year into the pandemic. Right before she passed, I said, good night, I love you, text you tomorrow. And she's like, good night, I love you too. Dorian Taylor and Evoir Collier are in jail, accused of drugging and raping Christine and leaving her for dead. Miami Beach police say this is them captured on camera, following her to her hotel room that night. For her parents, the pain is constant. It's hard. I mean, we think of our daughter every day. We're at the cemetery every day, at least once a day. It's just, it never ends. But they want to use their sorrow to send a message. We don't want this to happen in the other families. With Memorial Day weekend and months of South Florida summer upon us, they urge everyone to be aware. If you're out there and you see somebody that looks like they're in trouble, we don't do. just be a passerby. Go over and do something. Yeah. The couple can't help but think if someone would have stepped in to ask questions when their daughter walked to her hotel room that night, her life could have been spared. And the businesses need to take the responsibility of adding security and understanding their risk. Th this should have never happened. I don't know. It's just hard. I still can't. We have no closure. And the two suspects, they are facing murder and sexual battery charges. Police are saying they are the ones responsible for Christine's fentanyl-induced death. They are set to be in a Miami-Dade County courtroom for a hearing next week, and their trial is expected to take place sometime next year. Reporting live here in Miami Beach, Marissa Bag, NBC6 News. So tough to listen to them, Marissa. Thank you for that.